Do you have irritated red eyes and are looking for ways to get rid of them? In this video, I'll discuss the seven most effective approaches to treating red eyes. By the way, my name is Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist with Puente Hills Eye Care. So let's first discuss what causes our red eyes. When the blood vessels in the conjunctiva or the pink tissue surrounding the eye become inflamed and swollen, then we notice our eyes can start to look red. There are a number of possible causes for this finding. In certain circumstances, having red eyes can be an indication of a medical condition, such as an infection, eye inflammation or uveitis, allergic conjunctivitis, or a corneal ulcer. The best treatment for red eyes ultimately depends on what the underlying cause is, but we'll go through some of the best treatments one by one and discuss in what circumstances each treatment works best. First, I'll go through the most common and effective treatments for red eyes, but at the end of the video, I'll also talk about certain eye conditions that are associated with red eyes but can also seriously affect your vision and are best treated by your eye doctor. Vasoconstrictor eye drops are effective in reducing the redness because they function by constricting the blood vessels in the eye. Lumify stands out among the different vasoconstricting eye drops because it has a decreased risk of adverse effects. The active ingredient in Lumify is bromonidine 0.025%, which acts as a selective alpha-2 agonist when applied to the eye. By the way, I don't have any financial relationship with Lumify or Boston Loam, which is the company that manufactures these eye drops, or any other manufacturers or products in this video. I'm just sharing my experience as an ophthalmologist and treating thousands of patients with their eye problems. Anyway, the problem with most redness relief drops like Clear Eyes and Visine is that they contain ingredients like tetrahydrazoline, which is an alpha-1 receptor agonist, and nefazoline, which is an alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptor agonist. These drops are effective vasoconstrictors and redness relievers, but the problem with these drops is that if you use them for an extended period of time, after you stop using them, you can experience what's called rebound hyperemia. This means that the blood vessels in your eye can actually enlarge, making your eye redness worse and cause more irritation. This leads to a vicious cycle of having to continue to use the drop to get relief, but with worsening continued symptoms. The other problem with these drops is what's called tachyphylaxis. This means that after a while, the receptors in our blood vessels get almost numb to the medication. So even if you are applying a lot of these redness relief eye drops, your eyes will still be red and irritated, making you use more and more of the drops. The benefit of Lumify is that because it selectively activates only certain receptors called alpha-2 receptors, there's a lower risk of developing rebound hyperemia and tachyphylaxis. Having said that though, I still don't recommend using Lumify for extended periods of time because there's still the possibility of developing side effects with prolonged use of it. Generally, I recommend using Lumify or any other redness relief drops only on an as needed basis, maybe before a big event or big meeting Eating, but not on a regular daily basis. Okay, the next thing you can do to treat your eye redness is to use artificial tears. Probably the most common cause of red eyes that I see in the office is dry eye. We all have a thin layer of tears over our eyes called a tear film. In patients with dry eye, that tear film has either evaporated away or is broken down, leaving the cells at the surface of our eye, our epithelial cells, exposed to the dry environment. This causes damage to our epithelial cells, and the injured epithelial cells release inflammatory chemicals like cytokines and chemokines. These chemicals trigger our immune system to incite an inflammatory response in our eyes, causing pain, sensitivity, swelling, and you guessed it, red eyes with dilated blood vessels. The problem is that the inflammation actually causes further damage to the cells responsible for producing the different components of the tears. So we have a vicious cycle of dry eyes causing inflammation, then the inflammation causing damage to our cells, which are supposed to be making our tears, causing more dryness and more inflammation. So one of the most effective ways to get to the root cause of eye redness is to treat dry eye. I've gone through a detailed dry eye regimen in a previous video here. But briefly, some of the most effective treatments you can try are to use an oil-based artificial tear like Cystane Complete or Retain MGD two to three times a day. If you've tried artificial tears and still have dry eye symptoms and redness, your eye doctor can also try prescribing a medication called Cyclosporin, which is an immunomodulator that helps to decrease the inflammation in your eyes and also helps to increase your natural tear production. Restoring moisture to the eyes can help to reduce symptoms such as dryness and redness. The next thing you can do to treat your eye redness is to use antihistamine eye drops. Now, antihistamine eye drops are useful for treating red eyes caused by allergies. If you notice that your eye redness is associated with itching, stinging, some nasal congestion, or if you notice that the redness most often occurs when you're outside, exposed to pollen, or in dusty areas or around pets like cats and dogs, then it's possible that allergic conjunctivitis is the root cause of your eye redness. The most effective way to treat allergic conjunctivitis is through second generation antihistamines such as Patidae or Zatidor. These dual acting antihistamines provide instant relief by blocking the histamine allergy response. And they also provide long-term relief by stabilizing mast cells, which are the cells in your eyes and surrounding tissue, which secrete the inflammatory chemicals which causes symptoms associated with allergy, like tearing, redness, and itching. And of course, if you do know that you have a history of allergies to certain things like pet dander, dust, or pollen, do your best to avoid these triggers as much as possible. 
Okay, now that we talked about treatment methods like Lumify for temporary redness relief, artificial tears for eye dryness, and antihistamines for allergies, I wanna talk more about the less common causes for red eyes, but ones that can have serious implications for your eye health and warrant a visit to your eye doctor. Infections, either caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungus, are one potential cause of red eyes. The most common eye infection we see as eye doctors is what's called viral conjunctivitis, or more commonly known as pink eye. It can cause eye redness, tearing, and mucus discharge. So usually, if patients have a red eye with tearing and a bunch of discharge, especially if it started in one eye, then spread to the other eye, or if they had exposure to someone else who had pink eye, then I'm likely going to treat them for viral conjunctivitis. Usually, you treat the symptoms of viral conjunctivitis with artificial tears, but in certain cases, a doctor may also prescribe steroid eye drops to help decrease the inflammation. The other thing to remember with viral conjunctivitis is that it's highly contagious. So if you're diagnosed with viral conjunctivitis, it's likely that your eye doctor will recommend that you stay out of school or work until the redness improves. You'll also want to wash your towels and pillowcases with hot water and make sure to avoid touching your eyes, as well as wash your hands frequently. Another cause of eye redness that I often see in the office is corneal infections or ulcers caused by bacteria. In these cases, the eye redness can be associated with pain, blurry vision, and you may even notice a white spot on the cornea, which is called a corneal ulcer. I most often see this in patients who have a history of contact lens wear, and the risk of developing these infections increases if you wear your contact lenses for too long, such as 12 or more hours per day, or if you fall asleep while wearing them, or if you use the same pair of contact lenses for too long without changing them to a new pair. If you're diagnosed with a corneal ulcer, your doctor will prescribe antibiotic eye drops such as moxifloxacin or ciprofloxacin and recommend that you stay out of contact lenses for an extended period of time. Another cause of eye redness that I often see is subconjunctival hemorrhage. In subconjunctival hemorrhage, there's a break in one of the superficial blood vessels in the pink tissue surrounding the eye called the conjunctival. After the blood vessels break, there's oozing of blood in that area of the eye. Subconjunctival hemorrhage can look quite scary, but often it's not dangerous and resolves after a few weeks. If you're diagnosed with subconjunctival hemorrhage, your doctor will recommend for you to avoid rubbing your eyes and to avoid heavy lifting or straining that might make the hemorrhage worse. With time, your body will naturally absorb the blood. One last cause for eye redness I'll discuss is inflammation of the front of the eye or anterior uveitis. In this condition, the body's immune system triggers an inflammatory response in the front of the eye. This can lead to redness, tearing, throbbing pain, and sensitivity to light, also known as photophobia or photosensitivity. Uveitis can be associated with autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis or lupus. Uveitis is diagnosed by slit lamp examination, where we can see little white blood cells floating around in the front of the eye. So, if you're experiencing redness with tearing and sensitivity to light, definitely get checked out by an ophthalmologist to double check for any uveitis. As we've seen, the best strategy for obtaining long-term relief from red eye is treating the underlying source of the condition itself. Whether it's dryness, allergies, inflammation, infection, or subconjunctival hemorrhage, individualized therapy will get your eyes back to a healthy state as rapidly as possible. If you find this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more updates. And if you're in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area and wanna get your eyes checked out for redness, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Puente Hills Eye Care. See you next time. And if you made it to the end of this video, that probably means you're really interested in protecting and maintaining your eye health. You can watch my video here to learn about the best ways to treat dry eyes.